Hello everyone, and in this video, we're going to be looking at Google's smartest model yet, which is the Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental, which is now available for all users for free inside gemini.google.com app, as well as the aistudio.google.com. And Google has described the Gemini 2.5 as a thinking model that's designed to tackle increasingly complex problems. You'll see here that these models are capable of reasoning through their thoughts before responding, resulting in enhanced performance and improved accuracy. We're already seeing that Gemini 2.5 Pro is now topping the leaderboard on the chatbot arena across all the various tasks and areas, including hard prompts, coding, maths, creative writing, instruction following, longer queries, and so on. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to access and use the model for free and walk you through some amazing use cases where you can take advantage of this new model and its expanded thinking and reasoning abilities. So let's get started. For our first use case, we're going to be taking advantage of Gemini 2.5 Pro's enhanced reasoning abilities by asking it to analyze a data set and create an interactive charts for us. And as we saw, this model is able to handle complex logic. It's leading on key reasoning benchmarks, such as the Amy 2025. And we're going to be putting that power to use and seeing how well Gemini can interpret structured data and also turn it into visual insights. So I'm going to come here to add a prompt that says, here is a data set of numeric results attached. Please convert it into interactive data visualizations using HTML and JavaScript. I want clear visual representation of all the important relationships and insights. Use responsive charts and make sure to label axes and include the legend. Output the full HTML and JavaScript code so I can preview in the browser. But what I need to do here as well, in order for it to output the actual visual and to put the interactive graphs within the interface, is that I'm going to activate now this new canvas feature. And then I'm also going to attach my data set, which is basically the quarter one consolidated statements of Apple. And now, once I've attached that, and added my prompt, I'm now going to enter that. Now you're going to see it's choosing the chart types, it's combining the output, and then it starts to open the canvas interface to, to start writing the code for the interactive data analysis that it's producing. Okay, so now it's come back with the financial highlights and the various graphs. It tells us that this document will include interactive charts and it shows us number one, the net sales breakdown, products versus services. It shows the net sales by geographical region, the net sales by product category, the key income statement figures, simplified balance sheet overview, and the cash flow activities. And if we look at this, look at this from just a single prompt, it's produced a very clear interactive data analysis of the various relationships in the document. You can see here the net sales by region, net sales by category, the income statement highlights. You can see the balance sheet overview of the assets and the liabilities and the cash flows. And you can prompt this further and produce other types of charts other than bar graphs. But you can see the power of this model in that one single prompt it was able to produce a complete analysis, it was able to visualize the key financial data from the provided PDF. So for our next use case, I'm again going to take advantage of its enhanced reasoning abilities and its thinking capabilities in order for it to act as my strategic analyst to help me analyze a case study and come up with strategic directions as well as visualizations for a case study that I have. So I'm going to add a prompt here that says you're a strategic analyst advising executive leadership based on the case study. And I have added here a case study that is TikTok's disruption of the social media giants. And I wanted to perform the following strategic diagnosis. I want it to identify TikTok's sustainable competitive advantage using the resource-based view. I want it to build a logic-based decision framework. I want it to build a risk and opportunity forecast and identify three major threats and three future opportunities for TikTok. I also want it to come up with three innovation areas that it should prioritize and a policy strategy. And I've also specified some required visuals, if I'm creating a strategic proposal, would add value to that document that I'm presenting. So things like a SWOT table, two by two competitive positioning matrix. I've got a strategic timeline, a bubble chart, decision tree, and so on. And I've added the full case study here, and you can do this for your business plan for any decision-making situation that you want Gemini to help you with. And after we've done that, again, we're going to activate the canvas feature, and then we're going to enter that. Okay. So if we look at the strategic report that's come back with first, we can see that it's given us an executive summary of what needs to be done. It's highlighted the strategic diagnosis. It's looked at the areas that I wanted to focus on from both the resource-based view and dynamic capabilities. 
It's then focused on the key disruptive elements and then come up with a strategic decision matrix for competitors. And then it's come up with a risk forecasting and mitigation plan, market simulation, which looks at the TikTok ban in the US. And here it's come up with the innovation scalability roadmap for TikTok for the next five years, which it's done in detail. And then it's come up with a policy and regulation strategy as well. And you can just see how comprehensive this outcome has been and it's come up with some strategic recommendations as well. And all this from just literally one prompt. If you look at the content, some of the ideas and the suggestions that it's indicating are really good suggestions as well that could take your business or your product or your project forward. So let's look at the visual elements as well. You can see that it's come back with the SWOT analysis and it's really nicely laid out, showing me the strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's come back with this competitive positioning matrix. Again, again, with a nice visual that I can use and add to my presentations, it's come up with the key strategic moves timeline, nice colors, nice formatting, and a user engagement versus monetization potential here in a bubble diagram, as I specified, and then competitor decision tree responding to TikTok, and then a pestle risk radar for TikTok. Really, the capabilities of Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental are unbelievable. And if you look at the content in terms of the directions it's suggested in the report and the ideas that it's come back with, it really is one of the best models out there. And you can imagine how you can use that to help you build better strategies for business that you're planning to open, for a program that you want to implement, for content development and expansion, really for any kind of project that you're working on. Okay, so for our third use case, we're going to be using Gemini's 2.5 Pro Experimental from the AIstudio.google.com. And the reason we're going to be doing that, if we look at the options here to attach different files, we can see that we now have the option to attach a YouTube video. And what you'll notice in the AI Studio is that you have a very large token count, which is over 1 million tokens, which allows it to work with a very large input file. So I'm going to be attaching a YouTube video. And I've showed you this in a previous video that I've taken a very long video um, and then I've gotten it to extract some key information from that video. And with a bit of experimentation, I found that it usually is capable of handling videos of about half an hour. So we're going to take this video and now we're going to attach linked and i'm also going to add a prompt here that says provide me detailed insights of all the concepts in the video with a timestamp of where the concept is mentioned and a description of this concept after each concept also provide me with practical applications so what you'll see here is that i'm not only asking it to come back with the key concepts in the video, but also to build on that and to provide me with the practical applications that I can use to identify the areas that I need to work on. So you can see now it's come back with the details of the video and you can see how accurate it is. Here it tells us about the episode focus and then it goes on to um, provide me with the definition. It even tells me the definition starts at one minute, 35 seconds so that I can go back to the video. And if I want to hear that definition as well, I can then really focus on where the information is coming from, finds me again with the explanation and some practical applications as well. And then it goes on to the next concept and provides me with the pathways and the importance, showing me the very accurate timestamp where it's extracted the information from with explanations and practical applications and so on. And it does this for the rest of the video. So this is a really nice way if you wanted not only a summary, I know there's a lot of tools now that give you a full transcript and summary of the videos, but this is a really good way for you to extract the detailed information from that video as well and to build on that information with suggestions of next steps as well. And for our next use case, we've added a research article and I'm going to add a prompt here that says create a professional animated HTML presentation based on the content of the research article. It's got the, some features of the presentation requirements such as design and layout, the slides and the structure. And I've indicated several aspects that I wanted to focus on, such as introduction, the background methodology, key findings. And you can just suggest which areas you want, or you can just have a general prompt that says create a presentation. Again, I'm going to activate the canvas button in order for it to produce these interactive elements and then I'm going to submit that. And you can see that it's now come back with the presentation. It's got the title of the research article, it's got the subtitle, it's got the details of the authors as well and then we've got here an introduction of the main areas of the presentation and then again some key issues in the article and I really like how it's done this banner here at the bottom 
And then the methodology section clearly identified the different perspectives that have been introduced in the article. And then we've got legal perspective. And here it's got some nice looking colorful boxes as well in this slide. And then different perspectives, it's even added a chart for us here. There's quite a lot of work done in that presentation, again, in one prompt with a conclusion. And then with the reference, you can just work with this to build a more comprehensive presentation. Okay, for our next use case, we're going to be generating an audio overview from a research article. And what I've done here is I've attached the research article that I have. And what Gemini 2.5 Pro Experimental have introduced is the ability to generate this audio overview. So we're going to click on that. And what you'll see with this audio overview is that it's similar to what we get with Notebook LM in that it's a podcast feature where they're discussing the various details of the article in order to help us get some more interactive information from the article or the paper that we're looking at. And now we can see that the audio overview has now been generated. And if we play that specifically how they're you know actually impacting healthcare right now based on some uh, some research you sent over. It is academic chapter really dives into some real world applications, mm -hmm. not just like theory, but like how AI and IOT are already being used, mm -hmm. you know, to change things for patients yeah. across a whole bunch of different medical fields. Right. Yeah. And that's, that's what we're going to try to get at today. Like, you know, cut through all the technical jargon and really look at you know, how these technologies are actually making a difference. What you'll see is that it's given us that podcast style overview of the research article and just makes that reading a lot more interesting and interactive. And if you add some prompts here as well, you can get them to immediately discuss the issues as well. So another really nice feature to have within the Gemini app. And you can also use it to create a dashboard from any of your articles as key learning materials like I've done here. And once you're done, you can also ask it to create a quiz based on that. So I've just added a follow-up question here to create an interactive quiz based on the article that I've attached. And then it's come up with this really nice looking quiz and it's interactive so I can choose the responses I want. And then once I'm done with selecting all the responses, then I can then submit. And what it will do is that it will give me the results straight away. So lots of different ways that you can use this Gemini 2.5 Pro. So I hope you found this video useful and see you in the next video.